whatever is causing embarrassment in your life before midnight today i declare with your amen let it be destroyed amen. whatever is claiming you now that you could be destroyed amen. watching online get ready your communion as we address some spiritual issues with the blood of jesus Lord, we thank you for your body. We thank you for the blood. With faith in our heart, we come in contact with this spiritual token to address certain spiritual force in the realm of the spirit. With this communion in our hand, come on. Let your faith be activated right now. With strong faith in our hand, we make a connection. We make a link. Malizokere <laughs> In the name of Jesus, say with the covenant in the communion, I address every demonic voice speaking against my finances in the name of Jesus. Now lift your voice and begin to pray right now with this communion in our hands. We use it as a point of corner. Every voice of the enemy, every voice of that, speaking into your speaking into. In the name of Jesus, as I partake of this communion, I bind Satan, I bind every ruling spirit, every principalities of powers, rulers of darkness, wicked spirit in high places, the spirit of lack, every serpentine spirit in charge of my finances, territorial spirit above and beneath me, in the name of Jesus, all spirits not of God, manifesting against my finances, my finances. My finances in the name of Jesus, name of I, come Jesus. I come against you. I lose myself. I lose myself. I lose my finances. Lose my finances. Free, from Free, from Free from the powers of wickedness and every demonic grip. Every demonic in the name of Jesus in Christ, name of Jesus. open your mouth and begin to lose yourself, lose your finances. The spirit of love is bound. As you partake of this communion, we declare supernatural. In the name of Jesus, as I partake of this communion, in the name of Jesus, I command Satan, release your grip from my finances. In the name of Jesus, with all all those evil spirits, all those evil spirits. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, release your grip. Release your grip from my finances. From my finances. Get your hands off my finances. Get your hands off my finances. Get your hands off my income. Get your hands off my income. Get your hands off my career. Get your hands off my career. As I partake of this communion. As I partake of this communion. Today, today, I bring an end. I bring an to end satanic grief. To satanic over grief my over my finances. Satan, Satan, lose your grief.
Open your mouth with authority. With all those evil spirits, all those demonic spirits, all those evil spirits, lose your grip over my father. in the name of Jesus. Amen. As I partake of this command, as I partake of this command, I come against, I come against every demonic vow, every demonic vow against my finances, against my finances. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I come against, I come against every demonic vow, every demonic vow, projection, projection, pronouncement, pronouncement against my finances. Against my finances. In the name of Jesus, in the name of lift Jesus. your voice like a believer. Every vow. In the name of Jesus. Shout the Lord, I bind all family generational I causes. I bind all family generational causes. Of lack. Of lack. Every satanic change. Every satanic. Of lack in my life. Of lack in my and life. And financial struggle. And financial Break! struggle. Break! Lift your voice up. Break the name of Jesus. Break the name of Break in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. See, I renounce, I renounce and, I and I reverse every financial causes. Every financial causes. Through the internal blood. Through the internal blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I bind and destroy. I bind and destroy. Every activity. Every activity. Of every anti-avers forces. Of every anti-avers forces. Powers are signed. Powers are signed. To fight my in finances. Fight my finances. And my income. And my income. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Generational problem. Generational problem. Generational Battles, generational battles, generational causes, generational causes. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fighting my finances, fighting my finances. I renounce you. I renounce and be reversed you. now. Be reversed in the now. name of Jesus in the Christ, name of Jesus. I renounce you. I renounce and you. be reversed now. Be reversed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, name of Jesus. I renounce you. I renounce you. And be reversed and now. Reversed in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say Amen. Amen. See every devices of the enemy. Every devices of the enemy. Diverting my wealth, diverting my wealth, and my expectation, and my expectation be destroyed, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, see every demonic device, every demonic devices diverting my wealth, diverting my wealth through sickness, through sickness, sudden death, sudden death, accident, accident, financial emergency, financial emergency be destroyed now, be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, as I partake of this command, as I partake of this. Let it be destroyed now. Let it be destroyed in now. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command. I command Satan. Satan, restore. Restore sevenfold return. Sevenfold return from all you stole from me. All you stole from me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, sevenfold return. Sevenfold return. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command. I command every access. Every access, demonic access. Demonic access to my finances. To my finances. Be closed. Be closed with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Say it loud, Amen. 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 Shout a loud amen. Amen. Shout a loud amen. Amen. Now you're going to take this communion. As you take it, you are going to declare. There are four people here. There are 
there are demonic assignments on altars to fight your finance. But today it will end. You've done everything right. You followed God, but yet you look as if there is a stronghold. Today that power will be destroyed. Business will not fail in your hand. Nothing good will die in your hand. In the name of Jesus. Now you are going to partake with an internal covenant of the blood of Jesus. Through the token of the communion. As you take it, you will begin to address every strange demonic claim on your finances be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever has been programmed, projected, assigned to your finances is completely terminated. Is completely terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare after now there shall be financial miracles. Your him and look as if you are still in your Anglican church. So as you take up this communion, begin to address altar sponsored to fight my finances. Altar sponsored. Spiritual personalities assigned to waste my efforts. I bind you. This week you will see a turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now if you take the communion, take the bread, which is the body of Christ broken for you, and the cup of blessings, which is the cup of the blessings of the Lord. And as you take it, you begin to command down. Altars assigned, altars erected, altars projected, altars programmed to fight your finances begin to be destroyed. I want you with aggression in your spirit because you are now partaking in a covenant that will address every altar fighting your finances. You have done everything right, but here the enemy is restraining you, resisting you. This is the hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Take it and begin to pray. Do I have believers? Do I have believers pray now? Do I have believers pray now? Do I have believers pray now? Ako sata ba yegete bele degete, shiko sata ba talegete, ako si ba ya bele sekete, regete begete, elegete bagata gata gata, shige degete degete degete, shige legete degete degete degete, shaba ba 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 ba. Ala ba da borodo sete, come on if you are praying, pray. I command. Destroy every financial barrenness. Destroy every financial unfruitfulness. Destroy every financial barrenness. Begin to bind that devil. Tomorrow you are bound to come and walk into a financial harvest. Every spirit of Jesus 
Jabata one more minute, come on, we need the spirit. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now this week, because the Lord has promised the beginning of financial turnaround, I wanted to speak one more time this week. I pulled down every financial roadblocks. Transaction will go well this week. Every expectations will come to pass. Every transactions you've been waiting for, this is your week. You will address it. Every good expectations, jobs, opportunities. You want to declare this week, let the roadblock be pulled down. Let the roadblock be destroyed. Now, with authority, audacity, faith in your heart, open your mouth. Speak right now. 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 Every financial claim, demonic claim. This week, this week, this week, this week. Beginning from tonight, 
God will cause men to remember you. God will cause them to remember you. Command all your financial miracles to arrive. Command all your financial miracles to arrive. All your financial miracles by this commandment to arrive. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. This week, this week, this week, this week, this week, this Jesus, Glory to God. I feel the heavens are open over you. I'm excited over what God is ready to do with your life this week. This is your season of financial harvest. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's your season of financial harvest. One more prayer before I ask you to see and I'll show you what God is doing and anoint your hands afterwards. Is that we are going to come against demons at the edge of miracles. That you are getting it. You either they, they, they give it to you 20% instead of the 100%. Your harvest becomes small in spite of your harvest. So that power that stands in the place of your miracle be completely bound. No more near success syndrome. No more pushing you aside in the place of others. How many of you know that God has given you authority in the name of Jesus every nation bow? Now, in stretching your hand, you are stretching your hand to the end of your resort and removing every devil out of the way there will not be any automatic failure. No failure at the edge of miracle. Now stretch your hand in the spirit and rebuke that devil waiting for your harvest. Rebuke that devil waiting for your harvest. Rebuke that devil. They will not give you excuses in the place of miracle. No 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 excuse no Maradika la barada bush, ikoto bakata kata, ikara bababu, ikoto bayata, raketo kotoka kata, biyaka da, raketa kata kata, jada bakata leketeketem, 
Amen. I will not be a victim. I will not be a victim of another man's financial mistake. Of another man's financial mistake. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One more time, I will not be a victim. I will not be a victim. My business. My business. My career. My career. Will not be a victim. Will not be a victim. Of another man's financial mistake. Of another man's financial mistake. Say amen to that. Amen. And you may sit in the presence of God as I show you something. Breaking loose from financial battles, financial hardship breaking free you know one of the promise of God in third John chapter 1 and 2 it says I wish above all things that you what that you prosper it is God's desire that you prosper in all things now and also in health you not only prosper in material things but even in health he didn't say I wish above all things that you prosper and be healed he's saying health you rather be held it than to be healed. Amen. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospered. So God's intention for you and I is to operate in a realm of financial freedom. And this is the reason why God is asking us to pray and to break every strange financial claim. You need to understand that when you go through certain financial difficulties having done all right, then there is a demonic interference in your finances. And there are certain financial battles that is answered to the anointing, not to prayers. And there is a decree today by the anointing that that yoke is completely destroyed. God said the other day, I showed you last night in Genesis 12 and 2, he says, I will bless you. I will make thee a great nation. I will bless thee. And make the name great, and thou shall be a blessing. Thou shall be a blessing. Thou shall be a blessing. So if you want to break from financial limitation and see the blessings of God, God says he will bless you and you shall be a blessing. Means you must make your existence, you must make your existence to be a blessing to another person. Until you become a channel of blessings, then you are not a candidate of the blessing. God says, I will bless you and make you a blessing. God goes beyond blessing you. He says, I will make you a blessing. Your existence in life is to bring an impact to somebody. So there is no need. Praying, with, praying, praying for money is a waste of time. When your lifetime given is not in place. When you are praying and say, God bless me, and you don't have a lifestyle of giving, you obviously know that you are just wasting your time because God is not calling you to be greedy. He's calling you to be a blessing. Say, I'm called to be a blessing. Now, why are you saying like a witch doctor? Say, I'm called to be a blessing. <laughs> I love what Acts chapter 20 verse 35 says. Acts 20 and 35. Because your existence in life is to make impact. Is to make impact. And that impact is significant. In Acts chapter 20 and 35, say, I've showed you all things how that so laboring ye ought to support what? The weak. And to remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said it is more blessed to give than what? Than to receive. Than to receive. Than to receive. So you cannot bind and lose financially. When in your mind it is you are not praying that God should make you a blessing. So God is not blessing you for you to just be a blessing to yourself. He's blessing you to make, make you make impact. This generation, there are too much happening that people are becoming greedy. The Bible says it will become an end time mentality. The spirit of the age that men shall be lovers of themselves. That is a spirit of wickedness. But God is calling you that he wants you to become a blessing. Say I'll become a blessing. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6. Significant scripture, Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6, and I want you to claim those scripture. Second Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6, it says, But this I say, he will sow sparingly shall reap what? Also sparing. And he will sow bountifully shall what? Also reap what? Bountifully is the law, is the law of the spirit. In verse 7, this is the law of the spirit. It says, Every man according to as he proposed in his heart, so let him what? 
give not grudgingly of necessity for God loves what? A stingy person. So God loves is a spiritual is a spiritual rule. It's a spiritual rule. So you must come to a place where you can you will make yourself um, um, valuable. You make yourself um, strong. You make yourself that person that your your relevance become your impact become relevant. You know because I don't see the essence of salt when it's not applied. It doesn't matter how the salt is. It is in the application that you appreciate the salt. Is that correct? And the Bible says you are the salt of the earth. How can you be a salt and nobody feel your impact? So this is the time that you need to begin to consider those around you. You begin to see that God has not kept you alive all these years just to just bless you for yourself, to buy good cars and live a luxurious life. That is good, but your life must also make impact. God is calling you up. This season as he blesses you, you will not turn your eyes away from the poor. You will not turn your eyes from the needy. You will not turn your eyes from the work of God. You will not turn your eyes from his priest. That is more important now than everyone. How do I break loose from this, from, from financial limitation? Because this week we'll be praying and I'll be showing certain laws of God. Certain laws of God that the enemy has attacked so much back and forth. But they are spiritual inside. And show you vividly in the scripture. There are people that have suffered from the hand of Laban. You know who Laban is. Laban is the uncle of Jacob. Laban is from the root word Lebanese. Amen. <laughs> The Bible says he turned the, the wages of, of, of Jacob ten times. Decreasing his salary, the more he works, the struggle he becomes until God gave him that miracle. What God is saying today is that every tight grip that doesn't want to let you go, you will escape. There shall be an escape in the name of Jesus Christ. There's something significantly we're going to pray after this word because we're going to deal with it. I feel so strongly somebody is coming tomorrow evening dancing like somebody that has never danced before. By the power of the almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, one of the testimonies sent to me on, 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 on WhatsApp was somebody between yesterday and today received a millionaire um, offering. I said, Pastor, is working after communion. You know, I woke up to receive an alert. I said, he's working. You know, so consider what I'm trying to say now. You know? <laughs> Amen. He's working. He's working. Amen. It's working. It's working. There will be a release. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every year we've done financial fast. We've had some supernatural harvest of finances. Your, you will be the next in line. In the name of Jesus Christ. The challenge I have today is that people want God to, to, to bless their business and they don't mind God's own business. For you to break into the realm where God needs to bless you, you must have a God first mentality. The Bible says in the beginning, God. There is a God first mentality you should have. The Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be what? Shall be added unto you. We are living in the generation of selfishness, unthankfulness, unholy. People will greed. This is a generation that, that, that don't want to give. You must always have because who you have first determines what comes to you. So you must know we are living in a generation people come to God transactionally. They want to collect from God. They don't want to serve the God. So you must understand that God cannot bless you when you don't have him first in your heart. Genesis 1 and 1 says in the beginning God. If God is in your beginning then God is in your affairs. Everything that concerns you God take care of. So you must have a God first mentality to break loose from every financial trouble and battle. Hallelujah. So that is one of the things you must understand that is a God first mentality. If God is the most important person in your life, then God will take care of your affairs. You can't put your, yourself in the hand of God because I've never seen where God wastes people's destiny. God is not a taker. God is a giver. I know sometimes people say God gives and God takes. 
but that is the back the 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 the, um, the the painful part of job amen god gives and he never takes i pray for you today that there will be a supernatural release your amen is not good enough so there must be a god first mentality you must have a god first mindset god must be the first person in your mind every time you are asking god to bless you what is in your mind are you getting the bless because you are competing are you do you want that blessing because you feel like you need to prove a point and that is what i said to everyone all the time i keep saying it and i'm waiting for for somebody to be to correct me that there is nothing like god answer prayers in three ways well anyone that have other proof come and tell me i will gladly receive your lectures because people say some people say god says wait god says stop oh the scripture tell me god say god say yes god say wait god say tell me now they preach it to you tell me three ways you know uh, not yet uh, you know and exclusively they will tell you because you you um you know you don't have enough faith you know instead of them to say god did not answer the prayer say, go and have more faith but the bible says you do not you do not receive because you didn't ask in james 5 it says you receive not because you didn't ask and if you even ask you are asking it because your motive is wrong because you're asking it lustfully so if your motive is because you want to prove to your mother-in-law that I serve a living God. <laughs> Amen. Then God said, you're not ready. He said, because you are using emotion to ask this kind of things. So, means God is more willing to answer you than you pray. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, I believe in verse 12, it says, before you ask, I will answer you. You know, so God answered you so quickly. You know, so he answered you before you ask. So God is more willing to answer you. Amen. So God is ready to answer your prayers. Praise God. So whatever you have desired, the Bible says when you pray, you believe. And when you believe, you begin to operate in that dimension where you begin to see God answer those prayers. So when you answer prayers, this brings me to my point too, that you must understand the will of God over your finances. You must know why God should give you money. Know God's will over your finances. What is the will of God? The Bible says in Job 6 verse 11, If the servant obey the Lord, they shall spend their years in prosperity and in plenty. Job 6 and verse 11, If the servant obey him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. So God says that they should spend their years. So you have to know why God is going to put money in your hand. Yes, he said, yes, last night I showed you that he has come to give you life and give you more abundantly. So if God is going to give you money, it's not to prove a point to somebody that you showed me yesterday. It's my turn to show you. You know, so God is giving you because he wants you to be a blessing. See, he wants me to be a blessing. You know, so God wants you to be a blessing. So you are going to position yourself and say, God, you know my heart. Make me a blessing. As you bless me, I'm going to be a blessing. A blessing to everyone. Hallelujah. In Psalm 35 and 27. Psalm 35 and 27. The Bible says, Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be what? Magnum. Which have pleasure where? In the prosperity of what? So God wants you to be blessed. Say, God wants me to be blessed. So if God wants you to be blessed, you have to understand the will of God's blessings in your life. So I want you to know that God did not bless you to, for you to keep it. God bless you to be, for you to be a blessing. Let everyone come to you and live happy. Let people feel the impact. Let your presence, let your presence cause joy. Amen. Let your presence cause impact. Hallelujah. It's not enough to pity people. Move where you are. In Psalm 37 again and verse 25. Psalm 37 verse 25. I say, God, God bless me to be a blessing. You are praying. I say, God bless me. And I will be a blessing. 
So you have to know the will of God concerning your finances that God wants you to be a blessing. God wants you to be a blessing because it's a waste of time to pray when your existence does not make impact. It says, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Neither is seed what? Beg for bread. Put it in the message translation. God's will for you. God wants you to be a blessing and that is his will. If you know the will of God means I know that God wants me to bless. He said, once I was younger, now I'm great head. I've not seen an abandoned believer. Or his children roam in the street. You can never see a believer's child stand in that traffic. It's all that religion. Amen. You, <laughs> covenant cannot let that happen. Amen. Covenant cannot let that happen. So you must operate in that realm that this is the knowledge of his will. It's a guarantee for you to win in life. That you cannot be abandoned as long as you are a believer. God cannot abandon you or your children roam the street. It doesn't matter what is happening right now. It can't get worse than what it is. Your next level is going up. I see your next level is going up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, you must maintain the mindset of the blessing. The abundance mindset. You must maintain the mindset of the blessing. Proverbs 23 and 27. Um, 23 verse 7. You must maintain the mind that God wants you to be blessed because the devil will always speak you out of the blessing because of temporary scarcity. And when you maintain that mind of the blessing, you begin to speak the state of the mind. Look at what he said. For has he tinkered in his heart, so he, his God cannot bless you beyond your thought. God cannot bless you beyond the way you are thinking. Because of your temporary situation, you've conformed yourself to your location. It's time to break loose. I say it's time to break loose. For the fact Jesus Christ went through the, the cross, it didn't stop him to think that he's still God. You must have that mind in your spirit. Proverbs 21 and 5. Proverbs 21 verse 5. What crosses your mind is what crosses your life. What crosses your mind determines what crosses your life. What crosses your mind? It says, the thought of the diligent tend only to what? Tend to what? But of everyone that is hasty only to what? So the, the thought of the diligent is always tend to plenty. What crosses your mind? Determine what crosses your life. Your mental picture, according to Bishop David, your mental picture determines your actual future. What you put in your mind is what you will see in your future. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So as you keep thinking, struggling, God cannot raise you up. Is somebody here I'm saying? If you are once blessed and now you are broke, doesn't change you. Amen. A sick bed cannot be a fish because it's sick. When the bed is healed, it will fly again. I pray for you today. Every attack on your mind. I command that evil force to be destroyed. Your amen. Look as if you just came back from agriculture. In the name of Jesus, I command, I command, I command. I command, I command, I command, I command. I command. In Mark chapter 11, the Bible says that Jesus Christ was speaking strangely to, to a tree. The Bible says in Mark chapter 11 and verse 12. The Bible says they were on their way to Bethany. The next day when they would come out of Bethany, they came out of Bethany. You know, and, and they were come from Bethany and he was hungry. I mean, if you know it's okay to be hungry because he's a human being. Amen. He was hungry. So, and seeing a fig tree from afar, having leaves, he came. If aptly, he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but what? But least for the time of the fix was not near. That is not a problem. But where the problem is, is this. Verse next. And Jesus, see and Jesus. What did he do? Answered and said unto it. It means the thing was speaking. If the tree wasn't speaking to him, he wouldn't have answered. 
So the Bible says he answered and said. You can only answer what he's talking. Do you understand what I'm saying? He answered. He answered and said unto it. No man hid from you today. So what was he saying? Can I answer some poverty spirit and demonic hold? Whatever is trying to embarrass you, I command that now. I cause that devil from the root now. Jesus answered. He answered and said unto it. He answered and said unto it. Means the thing was mocking him. You hungry God. Come and eat. Let me see. Who? I mean, if you know that system that can embarrass you. Today, whatever is embarrassing you to shame the God you serve, with your amen, I curse it from his root. He answered it. The Bible would have said, another translation said he responded. He wouldn't have answered if he was not speaking to it. So right now, it's time to answer some devils in the spirit. Whatever is speaking into your finances for you not to grow, we answer now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that demon is cursed. In the name of Jesus, I cast lack in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I tell you something? This tonight will be the least you will ever be here. I cast poverty in the name of Jesus. I cast lack in the name of Jesus. I cast delay in the name of Jesus. I cast stagnation in the name of Jesus. With your amen, receive answer right now. He answered and said to him, no man hid from you. Jesus said, let no one hid fruit from you forever again. And the Bible says, no man hid fruit from thee hereafter forever. Leave it there, sir. No man hid from you hereafter. And his disciples heard it. I don't know why they put that. But I think that disciple was Peter. Because you see, this hungry man, it, it, his hunger has affected his brain. Because how can he be talking to a tree? And he said, no man hid from you for wherever. Let us see what will happen. Praise God. Look at verse 20 because you must have the mindset of a believer. As a man thinks in his heart because God can only bless you by your constant, consistent thought you put in your spirit. Because you must understand that whatever you confess is what you've established as your belief. Oh, do you understand what I'm saying? So in verse 20, the Bible says, Now in the morning, now it's both morning, means it's 24 hours later. As they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. Something is drying up in the spirit right now. Whatever is saying that you can't rise, we curse it from the root. Your human look as if you are afraid. Whatever again is speaking that you cannot rise, we curse it from the roots. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, they saw the fig tree, not Jesus. They saw the fig tree. The people that heard it saw the fig tree. Amen. Somebody will hear your confession tonight and see your testimony tomorrow. I want to show you how you can be consistent in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit. You must have the, the heart and the mindset of constant believing that God is the one that has blessed you. And for the fact you have gone through temporary setback doesn't mean that God has changed your blessing. So don't conform yourself to the, to the location and the circumstances of your present situation. Don't take a permanent decision over a temporary situation. You are coming out. Better than this. You are coming out. I am better than this. I am better than this. I am better than this. I might have been broken, but still better than you. Broken, but still better. I'm broken, I'm still better. Hey, I might look broke, but I still look better. Amen. Some of you look better than the way I saw you yesterday. Amen. Then Peter, Peter, he said, I told you it was Peter. Peter calling, he's from Ibadan. <laughs> Peter calling to remembrance, saying unto him, Master. They have to call him to remembrance. You know why? Because he knows he's settled. 
whatever you've spoken about, you don't go back to check it because you are a king with authority. King don't look out for their words. They know it is a command. Where the words of the king is, there is power. When you start looking at, did they obey? Did they not obey? You don't know yourself. And the Bible says when a man sits, a man in honor that does not know, a man that is in the place of honor and does not know, it's like a beast that perish. So you need to understand that you are in the place of honor. God has called you king and priest. Today I decree again, I curse every force speaking lack into your life. Uh, I wish you can get what I'm saying. He said, they call him to remembrance. Jesus Christ would have been looking and be saying, is this thing, did he work? Did he not work? Did he work? He did he not work. That is what a lot of people, let me see if he's going to work. Let me, no, 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 you've said it, believe it. Your words cannot return to you void because that word is backed up with authority. I curse again everything speaking lack into your life. I curse it from its root in the name of Jesus. From this word. You must have that mind. You must not, you must not conform your mind to your, to your situation. You must not. You will just tell yourself it's just a matter of time. I want to make you understand something today. If you want to tweet it, tweet it. If you want to Instagram it, Instagram it. If you want to WhatsApp it, WhatsApp it. But let me tell you something. Christians don't waste time. They process it. When you get home, shake your head to sing. Uh -huh. Get home. Just do like this. Do like this. Christians don't waste time. They process time. The Bible says in Judges 5, it says in the process of time, Jephthah. So don't say that um, 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 they're wasting my time or, or you're wasting time and the devil is using time to challenge you. No, you are in the process of time. You are coming out loaded. You are coming out better than this. You are coming out loaded. You are coming out better than this. Ah. So don't let anybody say yeah, time is going, time is going. No, it doesn't go for you. If time waits for no man, you wait for God because the Bible says it makes all things beautiful in a stand let nobody intimidate you with time because you process time and when God decides to turn to you you become the latest people might say you are coming late but you become the latest amen, amen. you become the latest story can I pray for one person this week may your testimony hit social media There are social media rats everywhere looking for news. They will stumble to your testimony. Oh, I wish you understand. Nigerians are so bored right now. Our world is so bored right now that everything is a news right now. Can I profess this week? May your own testimony hit the news. In the name of the Almighty God. Let me see if I can finish. And the Bible says they call him master. Behold, the fig tree with that corset is withered away. <laughs> so Jesus Christ looked at them and said, and Jesus answered, said unto them, have faith. That's what is that? The original Greek word says, have God's kind of faith. Have God's kind of faith. Have faith in God. But how do we operate in this faith in God? In verse next, if you can punch it, the Bible says, for verily I said unto you. The word verily means heaven and earth shall pass, but it will not pass away. The word verily means most assuredly. The word verily means it cannot change. It's a constant key. Certainly, that is it. For verily I say unto you that whosoever. Say whosoever. Now, he didn't say the one that sleep in church. Whosoever. Whosoever, he didn't say the one that went for night vigil. Whosoever shall what? Say to what? Be that word, remove and be what? Cast into the sea and shall not doubt well in his heart, but shall believe those things which he said shall come to pass and he shall have whatsoever. You see, they say there is four times. Whatsoever he said, whosoever shall say, whosoever shall say, and do not doubt in his heart. I want to say it again this week, between now and Friday. I prophesy, receive financial miracles. Uh, 
I wish you can understand what God is saying to you. Receive financial miracles. Receive financial open doors. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not changing it in the name of Jesus. Receive financial miracle. Receive financial miracle. In the name of Jesus. Whosoever shall say, shall say to this mountain, be removed and shall not doubt. Look at what is said now. The who will receive the what. Whatsoever is said. Whatsoever. Remember we started with whosoever. And it end with whatsoever. Means what he was trying to say is that the who significantly produce material things. So what you say in the spirit realm come tangibly in the physical realm. You must understand that a man that is operating in the God kind of mind does not change his language. If you say you are blessed, don't let your alert change your language. The day you say you are blessed, um, which is that bank that sends this alert very well? <laughs> and before you know, they just take 15 and just bring your alert in boldness. Praise God. Every time you look at it and say, I'm better than this balance. Because the devil will do everything for you to change your words, to change your language, to change what you say. But you are getting better. Jesus Christ did not check if the, it will be cost. Now, the Bible used the word, and they heard him say that. When he said what he said, they heard him. That would have been like, wow, they heard it. Oh, Father, Lord, don't be embarrass me, oh God. You know, no, where the words of the king is, there is power. Once you make that statement, Jesus Christ described it as a man sending a servant to go and bring a cup of water in the kitchen. When you tell your maid, go and bring me a cup of water, you don't look if she will go. You know she will go. You go on doing other things. That is what the language of faith says. Say it and take your mind off his knowing that he is done and wait for the time for the manifestation. And stop looking. Will it work? Will it not work? Will it work? Will it not work? Will it work? Will it not? God is not Kalu Kalu. God is not a magician. Say it and believe that it will come. Whatsoever is said. Can we have verse 24 if there is? Whatsoever is said. Therefore I said to you. Therefore I said unto you. What thing soever you desire. What things soever you are, desire, one, when you want. So be, that is why I have had this argument. Sometimes God say wait. Sometimes God say go. Sometimes God say take. God say wait. God say go. I don't know when God becomes green, yellow, red. Green, yellow, red. Amen. You know, the, the, it's okay. Uh, okay. Let me not go there. <laughs> No, let me, let me say the right thing now. <laughs> Therefore I said, what things soever you desire, when you pray, do what? Believe that you have received them. Believe that you have received them and you shall what? Have them. Believe that you have what? Received them. How do I know you believe you receive it? Is your excitement. So when I say thank God for answer prayers, people think it's ending their prayers. So let's thank God for answering prayers. You don't think that you are concluding a prayer. But believe it. Your excitement is an expression to show that you've already received it. Believe that you have received them and you shall have them. I speak this week one more time. Between now and this time tomorrow, you are coming back dancing that something has shifted for you. In the name of Jesus, something has shifted for you. 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 I believe I received. That is why when you war a good warfare, you bind the devil. Believe the devil is bound. Don't bind the devil and looking out again. Where is he coming from again? Oh, is this this rat? This rat looked like the landlord. It was a prayer, prayer earlier. Believe he's bound. Amen. Believe he's what? He's bound. And stop looking for him. You're looking for him. You, you feel that, okay, let me, let me, let us go for part two. 
Mortal Kombat Part 2. I don't know why I'm almost Mortal Kombat these days. Yeah, but, but, but you see, you believe that you've received them. Amen. This week, 24 hours, this time tomorrow, I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, receive the unexpected. Uh, receive the unexpected. Receive the unexpected. Receive the unexpected. In the name of Jesus Christ. There will be a good story by this time tomorrow. Help is coming for you. Bible says the spirit of faith not only have it in your mind, the spirit of faith says that when we believe it we speak it. We find our salvation is established by your confession. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 it says we believe in our heart and we confess with our mouth and we are saved. If your sins are forgiven by just believing and confessing don't you think your healing is the same? Don't you think your finances are the same? Don't you think your breakthrough is the same? Don't you think your lifting is the same? You believe in your heart and you speak it with your mouth. Your broke days are over. Amen. I want to speak to your finances. I say your broke days are over. Amen. In the name of Jesus, your broke days are over. Amen. Tomorrow I will be speaking to bank accounts by the power of God. So whether you, are, whether you come with your ATM, your checkbook or or your, or your whatever you come with in the name of Jesus that connects to your bank account. You said, you know, people say, oh, Pastor, this is too good to be true. That is why it's the gospel. Amen. That you can receive a shift in the spirit realm. That God will just from nowhere give you what we call money miracle. The problem we find today is that we are putting in our mind how God should answer the prayers. So you just shift in your mind, okay, God is going to come this way. He said, your thought and my thought are not the same. God wanted to help you by explaining it in measurement because he cannot compare it. So he said, let me help your human mind. As the heaven is far from the earth, so is my thought and your thought. You can't think like him. So stop thinking it's coming this way or thinking is coming through that you know haven't you seen so many times that God disappoints your expectation and come through unexpected places I pray for you by this time tomorrow something will show up called miracle it's a financial fast season it's a Pentecost week I declare there shall be a mighty Russian wind there shall be a suddenly there shall be a release in the name of Jesus I decree there shall be a release 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 in the name of Jesus Christ one of the most aggressive aggressive attack the devil will show you is how big your situation is how big your debt is how big the troubles are it will show you so that you will take your focus off the God word so that you will begin to speak what he wants to tell you. But you should take your eyes away from what the devil is showing you and put it on what you have said that God said concerning you. That is what we call prophecy. My sons and daughters shall prophesy. So I prophesy to you again. Prophecies are not for prophets. Prophecies are for believers. Speaking to mountains. I see some mountain moving believers here. Every financial mountain before you, before you sleep, I move that mountain away. I move that mountain away. I move that mountain. I move that mountain away in the name of Jesus. I move that mountain away in the name of Jesus. I move that mountain away in the name of Jesus. Can you just for 12 seconds declare every financial mountain they move? We are in a financial fight for 12 seconds. Oh my God, I wish someone can walk in dominion today. God 
God says in Ephesians 3:20, "Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all." I want you to take it slowly, so that you will know that God is going to blow your mind. Now to him that is able, not to you, there is, is to him, is to him. Let your mind stay on God, knowing that God is the only one that can give you the financial miracle. Now to him, not to your boss. Now to him, not even your system. Because a man that tied himself to a system will fail by the system. Now to him that is able to do, to do, to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we what, that we ask or what or think. So whatever is in your mind you are asking, God wants to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. That acts or think, somebody's breaking loose. Exceedingly, abundantly. Your broke days are over. Can you declare that in 10 seconds? I'm breaking loose from financial. I wish somebody can know that this is opportunity. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Amen. Stay exactly where God put your mind in that abundance. Maintain the mindset of abundance. Maintain it. Your mentality determines your reality. As you think in your heart, as you say that, you maintain it. The next thing is that you consistently speak it. You consistently speak it. Because in the system of the spirit, we don't speak situation. We speak what? Expectation. Let the weak say, Joel 3.10, let the weak say what? Say to the righteous, it shall be well with you. So you, you maintain that capacity and you speak it. Because what you speak is what is established. Not what you, you know, you know, you know, having prayed for some people, you know, I, I see funny events all the time. Father Lord, the Lord has done it for you. Uh, Pastor, I know, but you know, the wala is too much, you know. You know. <laughs> I just want you to come. I mean, don't you see it like that? What you keep? <laughs> oh, am I talking by experience? <laughs> and God is doing it. But well, you keep hearing me, it is well. It is well. I know, Pastor, it is well. You know that, you know, Pastor. Lord, but you know. <laughs> God has healed you. Ah! Mogbe! So you, what do you want God to do exactly? Because I just said to you, God has done it. He said, hey, Pastor, you know, but the situation is so, you know, the country right now, the way the country is doing like that, the way you are looking at it, you have to have plan view. I don't, hope you understand what I'm saying. You know, you know so, so you have to come. <laughs> Let me show you something I will pray. Romans chapter 4, verse 18. All of the Romans chapter 4, but let's start from verse 18 very significant amen let your word be consistent see I'm better than this my broke days are over the Bible says against hope he believed in hope that he might be called become the father of many nations because it is funny for you to call a man the father of many nations without a child so imagine Abraham goes to his kingsmen and said Abraham, he said, no, my name is Abraham. This man, you are living in denial. You are living, they tell me that all the time. You are just living in denial. Amen. I 
how can you call yourself father of many nations and there is no child? The opinions of men want you to change your language. But what report do you believe? Against hope, he believe in hope that he will become the father. So according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be here. How can God give you a word when you have not seen the reality of it? And in verse 19, if you can help us, he says, And be not weak in faith, he considered not his own body dead, because the man is dead, which was about a hundred years old. Right? The Bible says his body is dead, right? Now, but his wife only is double. The Bible calls it deadness. So deadness is the square root of dead. Praise God. Square root of what? 2a plus minus ax square root 4as all over 2ax equals to square root. It's wrong. Don't just play. <laughs> it says, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. So dead and deadness comes to together is equals to impossible. Look at verse 19, but the body is staggered not at the promise of God through what? Unbelief, but with strong faith, doing what? Giving glory to God. Wait there, sir. Put it in the message translation. Now, your glorifying God is an indication that you believe that you've received what you have not yet seen, but you believe you receive it. Look at what it says in the message Bible. It did not what? Tiptoed around what? God's promises. Asking cautiously skeptical the same thing pastor are you sure pastor are you really really sure that God is going to answer say amen if I'm talking to you amen. <laughs> praise God <laughs> pastor you know that I have waited though. God is going to do it he did not tiptoe if God said it I believe it and that settles it. Your broke days are over. Yeah. I believe somebody is living here tonight knowing that he, he or she is embracing an abundance this week. Yeah. It did not tiptoe around God's promise asking cautiously, skeptical question. He plunged into the promise and came up strong, ready for God. And how do I know you are ready for God? How you are thanking him that I know that this week will be loaded for me. And one demonic voice will tell you, but you said that last week. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Every day is a new day. The Bible says in Hebrews 11, 1, it says, now is faith, not tomorrow. Faith is now. How many of you are believers tonight? Believing that your broke days are over. I say your broke days are over. Things are working for you right now. 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 In the name of Jesus. The last scripture I'll, I'll read tonight and I want you to stay there. And I'll continue tomorrow is in 2 Kings chapter 7. There was a scarcity in the land and the word of the Lord came. And that is what I want to put your feet on tonight. That I will prophesy those here the Lord. By the influence of the Holy Spirit, because the Bible says, He that prophesied, let him do it as an oracle of God. So I'm going to prophesy unto you by this time tomorrow. You are coming back with a testimony. I decree one more time by this time tomorrow, you are coming back with a testimony. The Bible says that there was so much a scarcity. If you look at it from chapter 6, I think from verse 24, the Bible says it was so bad that women were boiling their babies eating their babies. The Bible says there was heavy scarcity. Now God is not the cause of scarcity because if you check it very well, the Bible says it was Ben Haddad, a man that made sure there was scarcity in Samaria. The Bible says it was so bad that two women rushed to the king and says that please help us and the king says where will I get help from? If God doesn't help you how will I help you? It was so bad that people were eating and buying the dungs of those when money fails, they have it, but they don't have the food. They were in a desperate situation. It was so bad. So you can imagine the kind of hunger that came on men 
the kind of hunger that women look at their children and see swear. The baby you carry for nine months. The next thing you woke up in the morning, you see the ear become red. Hunger has been... <laughs> you know, because I know one of the son's name. His name is Batlomi. Amen. So you say, Batlomi, I will boil you tomorrow. <laughs> so you can imagine what can drive a woman not considering a nine-month pregnancy to boil the child. That is very terrible. That was a kind of scarcity. The Bible said it was bad. That people were ready to eat the dungs of those. That at least the dove had something and they poo. Let's buy it and eat. That was bad. Praise God. And in chapter 7, which I believe somebody is already in their chapter 7. Because the 6 is the number of man. And the best of man is man. Six is the number of man, and we're in chapter six. And chapter six, you suffer scarcity. And chapter six for me was last year. We are now in the seventh, and in the seventh is the number of release. I wish you can get a spiritual timetable and put in and plunge yourself into the prophetic word. And in chapter seven, look at what the man of God said Elijah said, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Tomorrow about this time about this time tomorrow about this time i don't know if you can believe that we just we are still in recession we are just we are we are we are in lockdown the, the, too many things happen and the, you are coming to say tomorrow about this time i said to you don't ever think how god will do it tomorrow about this time tomorrow about this time i prophesy to 13 people 12 plus men I declare tomorrow about this time receive beyond your wildest imagination let Jehovah Elohim surprise you tomorrow about this time you shall see the miracle of God tomorrow about this time you shall see the blessings of God tomorrow about this time you shall see a turn around with your amen receive an open heaven tomorrow about this time tomorrow about this time tomorrow about this time tomorrow about this time I feel the anointing of tomorrow about this time I prophesy to a desperate woman here I prophesy to a desperate person here I don't know what you are looking up to and you feel tomorrow is late before shame catch up with you God will show up in your life before the reproach become more than you can bear God will show up in your bear receive in the name of jesus Christ. before they embarrass you again receive the miracle in the name of jesus believe the lord you shall be established believe his prophet and you shall prosper i stand under the influence of the holy ghost and i decree be to caliber referring to host area tomorrow about this time let heaven open for abundance in the name of jesus I speak to your bank account. I speak. I speak to your finances. I speak to your banks. I speak to your transactions. I speak to your contracts. I speak to your businesses. I speak. What will change tomorrow? I declare. Receive that abundance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If it happens in the Bible, God is a God of immutability concept. Means if he has done it before, he will do it again. I don't know how God is going to do it, but hear the word of the Lord before you show up here tomorrow night. I declare in the name of Jesus, receive that miracle. Receive that abundance. Receive a financial freedom. Receive a financial shield. God will show up on your behalf. God will show up for you. God will show up for your family. Amen. God will show up for your business. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Tomorrow about this time, ah, yeah, you will yeah. dance without music. Amen. Tomorrow about this time, you will forget your pain. Amen. Tomorrow about this time, you will forget your tears. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Tomorrow about this time. Tomorrow about this time. 
tomorrow about this time I know I know the economy of your country is so nice but tomorrow about this time we still serve a God that still brings out water still brings out honey out of the rock hey in the most difficult places is where your miracles are coming out from in the name of Jesus Christ if you can put your right hand on your head and I prophesy with my eyes closed I declare by the power of God you watching online wherever you are listening from tomorrow about this time I declare may your case may your matter be torn around in the name of Jesus in Deuteronomy 1 and 11 it said the Lord that God shall make you a thousand times more thousand times more as you are right now I don't know the level you are right now but in 24 hours I declare be a thousand times more than this 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 be a thousand times more in the name of Jesus a thousand times in your family a thousand times in your finances a thousand times in your life in the name of Jesus tomorrow about this time I decree let the supernatural reign of God the blessings of God be released upon your life in the name of Jesus God said to them in Exodus 3 21 the Bible says that God says in one day I shall give you favor for 430 years that could not give you that is a God we serve a God that will give you 430 years salary in one day I pray for you in seven days I declare all your seven years of battles receive them in one day receive your reward in one day I go back home to 2014 where things went wrong with you I prophesy in the name of Jesus let the power of God command the restoration command the restoration command the restoration command the restoration restoration in your finances restoration in your family restoration in your home restoration around you receive it in the name of Jesus Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your finances is taking a new level. Amen. Your finances is taking a new level. Amen. Your finances is taking a new level. Amen. There is a turn around for you. There is a turn around for you. There is a turn around for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Tomorrow about the sign. You shall see a miracle in your heart. Amen. Tomorrow about the sign. The doors you know shall be open. Amen. Tomorrow about the sign. People that matters will remember you. Amen. Tomorrow about the sun, your heavens are open. Amen. Tomorrow about the sun, resurrection in your life. Amen. Tomorrow about the sun, you are stepping in a new season. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy. Amen. Receive the abundance. Amen. Receive the abundance. Amen. Receive the abundance. Amen. Receive the apple. Amen. Receive the apple. Amen. Hey. Oh, my God. By the power of God. Tomorrow by this time. Uh -huh. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. I might fall, but I will be. I will resurrect again. The Bible says in two days he shall revive us. On the third day, he shall raise us up. Tomorrow about the time, you will imagine to your new season. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Tomorrow about this time. Your sixth chapter is over. Amen. You are stepping into seven perfection. Amen. Your sixth was a bad sixth chapter. It was a difficult one. You were a laughing stock. 
people look at you and turn their face. You are like a child abandoned by the mother. It look as if your heaven was closed. That was this chapter. That was chapter six of your life. People were laughing at you. In your chapter six, people look at you as if your own is finished. That was chapter six. People look at you and say, your case is closed. That was chapter six. My God, it look as if everything you had, you were selling. That was chapter six. Don't see the Lord. Chapter seven is here. By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, receive for yourself. By this time tomorrow, receive a miracle. By this time tomorrow, receive your answer. By this time tomorrow, receive your open door. By this time tomorrow, there shall be turn around. By this time tomorrow, you will walk in your season. By this time tomorrow, you will laugh again. By this time tomorrow, you will testify. By this time tomorrow, you will see your heavens. By this time tomorrow, you shall bring forth. By this time tomorrow, receive our body. Receive it. Lift your voice oh, and begin to receive. Uh, yeah, your ba, chapter ba, seven ba, is here. Ba, 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 your ba, chapter ba, seven is here. By this time tomorrow. By this time tomorrow. Your chapter seven. By this time tomorrow. Your chapter seven. By this time tomorrow. Your chapter seven. Lift your hand and begin to receive it. Your chapter 6 is over. It is your chapter 7. It is your chapter 7. Lift up your walks tools as I've anointed them. Tomorrow we'll continue again. Judges chapter 6, the Bible says. It was difficult for them. Gideon was hiding. He was, he was, he was hiding. He was hiding. The Bible says they were impoverished. They were in a deep place. In chapter 6, they were, they were going through challenges. I don't know who is in chapter 6, but it's over. Those painful days end this night. The Bible says that Gideon, Gideon, when God came to to him the angel said to him you are a mighty man of valor he said to the angel shut up your mouth why will you say I'm a mighty man of valor can't you see my situation how can I be mighty and I'm hiding from an enemy how can I be mighty and I'm hitting from hand to mouth how can I be mighty and yet nothing to show for my life but I don't care your situation God can never call you by your present state he will call you by your tomorrow the Bible says after he complained, the angel opened his mouth and said, go in thy might. The angel said to him, you are in chapter 6 of your life. You need to step into chapter 7. And he did everything and he said, how will I know that God has answered? Except you didn't see the sun tomorrow. If your eyes can see the sun, you are in your chapter 7. But the heaven will be open for you. The Bible says in chapter 7, the same man that was hiding took his trumpet and blew his trumpet. 30,000 men answered him. A man that was hiding. 
in chapter 6. I don't know who is in their chapter 6. But God says you are about to step into a border. The interesting part of that scripture, the Bible said, that God said, having received a visitation of God, you can no longer succeed anymore by effort. You are going to succeed by grace. So you will do little and you will gather much. What is grace? Is divine partiality against earthly understanding. Malazito Osha. He says, haven't you received a counter? Effort cannot give you answer anymore. Grace, you will function in grace. And he said to him, 30,000 is too much for you to go to do this, to get this result. He reduced them up, all up to 300 people. 300 people to fight 300,000. So that says to you and I that one person will face 1,000 person. That was the covenant of God. It shall make you a thousand times. And in Deuteronomy chapter 28, he said, in his covenant, I'll teach you covenant tomorrow. In his covenant, he said, one will chase a thousand. One will what? Chase a thousand. In Judges chapter 15, the Bible says, and Samson took a jawbone of an ass and he killed one thousand person. What does that tell you and I? Is that after tonight, 1,000 people's results will be what will be directed to you. I don't know if you know that it doesn't matter how hard you work. It cannot be equated to 1,000 people together. And God is saying 1,000 people's efforts will be given to one man. This is your season. Lift up your business document, whatever it is. I want to ask the Lord to break upon it no matter what the persecution, the trials, the battles it has gone through. This is your week of change. We serve a God that answers prayers. Lift it up. Begin to speak to that document. The battles that fought you is destroyed. Your complimentary card, your ATM, whatever is your tools. Wherever you are, hold it up. The battles that is fighting is over. Find that devil. Find that devil. Liko so ba 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 Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Shakata Bagata. Before I lay my hands by the mercy of God through the help of God, lay my hands on it by the leading of the Holy Spirit, not the work of a man. I want you to speak to every mountain in before that business, every mountain before that your finances, every mountain. Oh yeah, open your mouth, begin to speak. Let the mountain move. Let the mountain move. Let the mountain move. Let the mountain 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 move. 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 Let the m
Every altar behind this business is destroyed. Whatever was sent to fight you is terminated. I don't know what kind of result you are looking for. Can you speak it into it now? I want you to trust God that your turnaround will begin by this time tomorrow. I want you to believe God. What kind of result are you looking for? 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 Amen. Lift it up one more time. Counsel every negative, fearful word you have spoken over your life, over your business, every depressive word you've said, words that have, the devil is trying to use as an advantage, cancel every negative word, words that have opened you up, words you spoke because you were in a bad place, words you spoke because you were depressed or you were disappointed. Those negative words should be canceled right now. Cancel it from your business. Cancel it from your finances. You will never say I'm broke anymore. You will never say you are depressed anymore. You will never say it's over for you. No satali brada porodoshe. Shadelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
Lord, under the covenant of this grace, let this supernatural grace of this conference, of this financial fast, become the voice, favor all around. I don't care how dead your situation looks like. I don't care how terrible it is. We serve a God that raised a man for days. The Bible used the word is smelling. He was smelling already. The sister said he was dead. They said he will resurrect again. And they said to him, I know on the resurrection day, Jesus said, resurrection is not a day, it's a person. I am the resurrection. The I am is here tonight. The God that raised deadness. 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 He did not tiptoe, but he believed against hope he believed. This week, Father, let somebody dance. Because you've answered the most difficult challenges you make it simple for them as I taught you today I speak healing to him 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 in the name of Jesus I've seen God use his hand to do great things. Even impossible things. This hand has taken people out of wheelchair. This hand has opened the eyes of the blind. This hand has healed the sick. This hand has, give, has, has given barren women children. There is something God placed in my hand. Very sacred. And I know he said once you lay your hands it will happen. Lord, as I lay my hands on this document, let mercy prevail. Let them function in grace. In the name of Jesus, I pray for a supernatural turnaround by the Spirit of God. If you can pray in tongues in one minute and let's command the Spirit of grace. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, as I lay my hands and I greet today, miracles are happening. Resort from today. I don't know, I feel you are coming back, many of you, tomorrow night. And you see God is doing it already. What you say is difficult will become too simple. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you receive that tonight? Express your joy and appreciation to God. Give him praise and glory. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus, my name. We have worship. Ever is causing embarrassment in your life. Before midnight today, I declare. With your amen, let it be destroyed. Amen. Whatever is claiming you now, that you will be destroyed.